Say the first part. Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy today's video, make sure you come back every day. That's right. I'm sitting on the ground today. Um, we're just working away. I working. I got a lot of stuff to do, but I'm I'm trying to leave work early because I worked late yesterday, and because I think I'm going to a further city. But I wanted to show you guys. Who remembers the days of Sarah and Peter going via movie pass? to all of The Greatest Showman. One of the greatest movies ever. And one of my favorite coffee mugs ever. I'll be right back, okay? You can't tell that she's about to get really mad. Okay, I love you. It is toasty today. It is so warm. Um, so the reason that I left was because I had to get some letterheads printed. I'm actually doing a letter writing session tonight over Zoom with the Vote Writers. It's um, an organization that I came across during my research. And basically, you sign up for a slot, they give you 30, um, 30 names and addresses and scripts to write letters to people to ask them to vote. And most importantly with vote writers is making sure that people have a valid ID to vote. So many people are denied their right to vote because they don't have the proper ID. You don't realize that a lot of people don't have driver's license. A lot of people can't take the time off of work to go to the DMV and get just a state ID. Um, so many factors, money, time, just knowledge goes into getting an ID. Some people don't even have their social security card. You know, you don't really know. Not everybody has all of those tools to set themselves up that way. And so Vote Riders is specifically works on helping people get an ID so they can vote. And so I'm excited because I get to talk to people and um, basically they gave a little learning session and then um, they're just gonna put on music and everyone's just gonna write letters together. So it's kind of like a nice community thing to do too. I'll put a link in the description um, of where you can sign up if you're interested in doing something like that. They also had an option for text banking if maybe letter writing um, isn't something that you're interested in. It did, you know, like to, to print these letterheads, it cost me a little bit of money. It's gonna cost me postage. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, their website has a ton of resources and ways that you can volunteer your time to help people exercise their right of voting and how important is voting all right i got nervous i was circling around here for a while but i just saw the group park and start walking over so i'm gonna head over to the st cloud police department where i think we're gonna do a little protesting but this is i'll explain more later what happened i have to get the details but this is for a local st cloud man here we go they got a barrier and everything set up but i think that's been going on i think there's been a few protests here over the past two weeks. My name is Tatiana and I'm just gonna tell you guys why we're here. Um, on May 5th, 2020, Deshaun Ianni Hodge was killed by St. Cloud Police Officer Devin Dunn. Something happened in the house where Deshaun ended up stabbed with a nine-year-old girl that most of you have probably seen in the news story. Deshaun was stabbed along with a nine-year-old little girl. When Deshaun was, when officers arrived to the scene before they made it to the house, they saw Deshaun bloody running in the street. And Officer Devin Dunn decided to shoot since his shooting, um, Deshaun has been blamed for the stabbing of a nine-year-old little girl. Despite the little girl saying Deshaun did not do it, her mother has said to change her story for whatever reason. And um, so today we're just here because we want Devin Dunn to be arrested for the murder of Deshaun Lewis. Yeah. 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 Across the United States, because this is not a state issue. This is a United States issue. 
to say we're going to send out that GoFundMe, trying to get it out, trying to create some traction around their GoFundMe. So we can actually really seek suggestions for this family and for this family. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! It is our duty! It is our duty! To fight for freedom! To fight for freedom! It is our duty! It is our duty! To win! To win! We must love! We must love! And respect! And respect! So Peter is off and marching. I'm eating a popsicle and going through this little PowerPoint that Vote Writers sent me um, to kind of go over. Like, I think they're going to present this when we're on our Zoom call, but just to get a little bit more familiar with it and get prepared. Obviously, you can pause and read the mission statement if you'd like to learn a little bit more. Also, so Vote Writers, um, letter writing. Uh, two voters. Um, as I mentioned, this is our kickoff party. This is the first time we're doing this. I'm very excited. Um, very thankful that you all joined. We'll be uh, writing to voters in Florida and Wisconsin. The way that we uh, make voters aware of what we're doing, um, what vote writers is, what voter ID laws are, if they're in, how they're impacted is um, through our outreach, our social media, through our website. Our website is a great resource, one of the most. So here is the little letter. I don't know if you want to pause and read it. This isn't to work with a different campaign. It's a nonpartisan um, organization that provides information on voter ID. So this is just the first, um, the first bit of volunteering that I've signed up to do. I would like to, um, to do a little bit more reach covering specific topics, covering specific bills, or um, just voting information, um, candidate information as well. But I really liked what the vote writers are doing and it's such a simple way for me to help. And I actually don't have to write, I have to write 30 letters. I don't have to do it all today. Um, you could just do it totally on your own time and then you just take a picture when, um, when you send them off. For the, for the letter writing, you do have to pay for postage. So again, if you want to do like calling or texting, that's an option too. Um, I'll put their social media information as well as the link in the description. So I'm just going to do this until Peter gets home and then, then I'll just take some time over the next couple of days to finish them and hopefully send them out by the weekend. Just got back to the car. Um, I didn't get a little early today. Um, so this one was in St. Cloud, Florida, and let me tell you, we've referenced like we've learned a lot going to these things or researching them, but like I haven't learned more about the racial issues in our country and the world more than the past week about police brutality and just about all these struggles that are very much swept under the rug that need to be talked about. but. Going to a protest where the person, the victim's family, the victim's mom is speaking at and is walking with you um, is completely something else. Um, just really puts it in perspective to hear the stories and to hear a mom talk about her son in that way. Um, you can look up the story of Deshaun Hodge in St. Cloud. Um, he was killed by a 22 year old cop um, last month. They are still asking a lot of questions about the incident. There's a lot of unknown still. Um, but we came out to support the family and everything, but I, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening with Sarah. It's 7.30 now, it'll take me a little bit to get home, but um, it's kind of one of those like emotional tolling moments where it's like I just need to go home and be with my friend and and talk to James and be with be with Sarah. So I'm gonna head out um, now and go home. Oh my! This is what I've been driving in. It's been a monsoon. But if you couldn't tell, wait for the wait for it, wait for it. Mark it on south. Mark it on south coming to see what kind of fresh donuts they have because I just, I need them and I want to get Sarah them. And I just, you know, some days, 
some days you just gotta do it and today is one of those days check it out market on has got new menus look at that yeah. sometimes <laughs> you just need it so i told you guys i got these because i was just getting them there was no donuts available <laughs> As I'm leaving market on Sunday, Sarah doesn't even know that I'm there. Sarah texts me six dollar whoppers, so I got them. And then the fries were thicker. Yeah, it was a it was a heavy day. Um, I was kind of thinking that maybe we wouldn't finish all this tonight, but it looks like we might finish all of this tonight. So, uh, nine twenty. I think we're gonna sit down and we're gonna watch Selma tonight. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's Sarah another one that's free to rent on Amazon Prime Video, video. or whatever. <laughs> you found out what it's called. Prime Video <laughs> is what it's called. So we're going to watch that tonight. Um, maybe go to bed a little earlier if we get this movie started yeah. soon. Um, and that'll be our day. I told Sarah, like, today was such a heavy, weird day mm -hmm. um, that I, I am hopeful that this movie, compared to just Mercy that we watched yesterday, will be, like, an empowering one where, like, this will like, feel fueled. Feel like, fueled to get back out and do the marches and protests and just messaging and having those conversations. Mm -hmm. um, Not to say that you're like you're losing interest, no, but it's, it's just, just like it's, it takes a lot out of you. Right? And I, I, and say, I think nice to, like tonight, like our like the occurrence, the the people that you heard from and mm -hmm. the stories that you were told tonight happen in our backyard. You know, right. it's not the same. It's obviously just as devastating of a death because all death is devastating but it's just like it hit it hit your heart a little bit more that it wasn't like the national scale well, of things all right so now we're gonna go chill watch some selma look at this hair i don't know how we have it this one came out a while ago i think you really? haven't seen it yeah but it looks good june 9th to be kind is more important than to be right Many times what people need is not a brilliant mind that speaks, but a special heart that listens. Anonymous. Guys, look at my crazy hair. I should probably schedule a haircut soon. One for you and one for the pop. Yes. Yes. We did not finish Selma. We decided to go to bed. We're trying to be smart. Yes. <laughs> we're trying. <laughs> um, we're going to finish it tomorrow. So far. Really powerful. Really moving. Chuck's on Sarah. I'm not tired. I have a screenshot of a doctor that I didn't call today, even though I was supposed to on the car ride over. I have a screenshot of a doctor that's actually in Winter Park um, to go check out for a sleep study. So I have to do that if, call tomorrow. If everybody comments, maybe he'll make the appointment. <laughs> I'm making the appointment tomorrow. I'm making the call. Okay, good. Thank you. It's good to be home. It's good to be home.